Stephanie, the Adult Programming Coordinator here at the Pickens County Library, and I'm here with Pickens County Animal Shelter. And who else? I'm Stacy Kelly, I'm the director at the Animal Shelter. Deanna Stein, the Outcome Coordinator at the Shelter. And who else do we have here? We have Chevy. And this is Lulu. What types of dogs are these? He is a I mean, obviously two-year-old <laughs> shepherd mix. <laughs> Lulu is a, uh, she's a, just a mixed breed. She's probably got some bulldog in her, but she's just a mixed breed. And so how long, um, how many animals do y'all end up having at the shelter? Normally we would have about 60 dogs at this time, and, uh, but uh, we've decreased our intake as much as possible during this time. And so we're, uh, we, I think we've got 15, 16 dogs right now. Because normally y'all have um, help with taking care yes. of the animals yes. um, through the inmate Yeah, we program. utilize inmates from the Pickens County uh, Detention Center. They come in every day, seven days a week, and help take care of clean, feed, and uh, obviously walk, take care of the dog. And so during this time, you don't have them, so That's it's correct. just y'all. Yes, uh, there's three full-time employees and uh, two part-times, and it's seven days a week. <laughs> and you said right now, um, you're, you do you have some cats or you're not taking we're, any cats? We're not in taking cats and we do not have cats, any cats. in okay. the shelter right now. Okay, that's all. So what happens if you want to adopt an animal? What? Okay. Uh, you we, just come in the shelter? Well, the, you can just show up. Um, uh, we're, uh, our hours are, uh, are available uh, 12 to 4, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Okay. Um, do you have to make an appointment? I didn't know if anything well, had changed during COVID. Well, you don't have to. We, we would prefer. Okay. To, you know, if you do, but you don't have to. You can just show up. Um, we, uh, so you can you can also go on to uh, Pet Tango. That's uh, one word, P-E-T-A-N-G-O. Okay. Uh, put in the 29671 zip code, and uh, you can view all the animals in our shelter. Oh. Okay, so see what you if you want to look before you you know come that's yeah. one way we also put them on Facebook so um, you can view our Facebook page and uh, we try or we utilize our Facebook page mainly to try to return the uh, the stray to its owner so is there a specific time if somebody found a dog and they brought it to you do you how does that work like if, well, you, we if intake, you find a dog basically our intake hours and adoption hours are the same okay so you can you can come in uh, and, and bring a stray um, where at this time we're not intaking owner surrenders um, but uh, we will intake a stray okay to, to, but uh, you know we like for those like for people to call in and let us know they're coming that way we can prepare before they get right. there. So, uh, but you know, that's another deal. Sometimes they just show up and that's fine. Do, is there a certain time frame before they're available to adopt? We have if to you hold, can't find them. We have to hold a stray that's not identifiable, which that means if it don't have doesn't a microchip show. or a rabies vaccination tag or any kind of an identification, we hold them uh, for five days. If it's identifiable, got a rabies tag or a microchip, we hold them for 10. Oh, okay. And, uh, try, to, try to give well, the owner an opportunity to, to find them. Well, what about um, with these two dogs? Are they available to adopt? And what is? Um, I believe you had mentioned that they might have some health issues. Yes, yeah, they're both heartworm. They are available for adoption. They're both heartworm positive, and so that would have to be paid for. Um, a lot of times we raise that money. People donate money, and we use that oh. money to go towards paying for the heartworm treatment. What it, What does it really mean to a dog to be heartworm positive, and how can you prevent your dog from becoming? Well, the, the heartworms live in the obviously in the heart, and they congest the heart. Um, the worse they are, the harder it is for that. It actually causes them to have a hard time breathing. Um, she's Lulu's got a cough, and uh, and we believe that's due to the heartworms. Um, Chevy, he's probably not as far along. He's still a very active dog, um, but it does cause them not to be able to be as active. And so they, it is preventable. You, you need to, you know, if you have a pet, you need to see your vet and uh, discuss heartworm treatment. But it's a monthly prevention. That is it, it curable? It is. It is. Uh, How it's long expensive, does it usually but it's take? curable. It depends on the method used. Um, sometimes it's just uh, two shots and uh, a long-term process of, of yeah. low energy, not allowing them to be out running loose. You want to, you know, because the heartworms can, I guess, clog their arteries Aww. and uh, and cause heart failure. So, 
you want to keep them uh, uh, low, like low activity when they're in, they're in the treatment. And, okay. And for, uh, what if you wanted to volunteer for the and, shelter? We utilize volunteers mostly for uh, transport, um, walking the dogs, just uh, enrichment for the dog, playing with them, just giving the dog, you know, a little taste of of, of love. That, you know, <laughs> yes. when you have as many as what we normally have, it's hard for us to give them all the love. So we need yes. we need as much help as possible to to you know give them the attention that they deserve while they're there with us and that's what we try to do but like i say when you have 60 it's hard to give them all the attention they deserve and so we'd like to have volunteers come and walk uh, and then we have transports um, that volunteers sometimes um, bring food to us you know there's different different activities nothing okay so that's what you meant by transport well they transport the dog for uh, a lot of our dogs um, with, with rescues, we deal with the, a lot of the rescues, they're, uh -huh. they're out of state, so they'll be transported, they have like transport vans that'll go uh -huh. as far as Vermont. We send a lot of dogs to Vermont. And so the, the volunteers will come and take them from us and then take them to a meeting place and, and put them on a transport van uh, to travel to Vermont or wherever, you know. So we have a lot of dogs coming into our facility and we just don't have as many we'd love to have you know all of them adopted here in pickens county but it's just not possible and yeah. so um, we transport them wherever we need to to try to find them homes what if you wanted to donate to the to the animal shelter mm -hmm. is it just monetary or is it physical items or what is it that the animal shelter needs we can definitely always use the monetary donations but uh, we also need you know uh, laundry laundry detergents cleaning supplies uh, obviously we can use dog food um, uh, old towels blankets stuff like that that you're through with and and need to they, the dogs love them so then and you know something they, they can cuddle up yeah with. yeah we lay, we lay them in their in their uh, kennels with them and, and give them a soft place to lay what about old you know old bedding for dogs i mean like yeah. i would imagine yeah. that yes, would be yeah. acceptable yes. and you said even these leashes were donated right. possibly yes, <laughs> leashes, leashes harnesses. harnesses collars because you probably go through them we do <laughs> we try to make sure everybody leaves with a with a leash or collar or at least you know if they need one we, we, right. we want to be able to supply them with it. Deanna, can you tell me about the Service Dogs for Veterans program? Yes ma'am, they're a 501c3 nonprofit organization. They're a rescue. They actually come and evaluate some dogs from the shelter. They pull the dogs from the shelter. They take them and they train them and the veteran. So specifically for the veterans needs whether it be bracing or just emotional support and you said you've had several yes that, that, and what what actually are they looking for or have, tell me um, about one normally of the they have to be under two years old if they are needed for bracing they'll have to be taller so the veteran can use them to help them get up and brace themselves oh. um, they take them and make sure that all of their like they don't have any kind of hip dysplasia or anything like that. Um, it really just depends on what they're looking for in the veteran, but mostly it's the bigger dogs that to That's so help sweet. them get up and down and make sure that they can assist them. What a good partner to have. So, hope you enjoyed being with us. Thank you both for bringing these two sweet angels and letting us know what the Pickens County Animal Shelter has to offer. Um, come see these dogs. Check them out on what was the website again? Was, uh, the, pit, the Pet Tango. Pet Tango. Pet Tango. Yeah. Okay, if you want to. ANGO.com. Or their Facebook page to see the pictures of these sweet babies. And then schedule an appointment would be better. Otherwise, check out their hours. And uh, our phone number is 898 5936. Thanks for joining us.